I'm here at our historic institution, Ermestead's Grammar School, founded 72 years before the birth of Shakespeare, to convince you that you want us as one of the twelve. Over the last few years, we've experienced Shakespeare's work in this very building, in a number of ways, both literary and dramatic. Of course, we've read the texts, but we've also been invited to explore them through active class discussion, as well as performing our own theatrical interpretations. I feel I speak for all of us in saying that the intrigue of Shakespeare is twofold. On a literary level, we have the opportunity to study masterpieces of characterization and thematic exploration, whereas from a linguistic perspective, appreciating the works of a bard whose imagery has shaped the English language as we speak it today. I was able to bring all of this to Sri Lanka and our partner school Zahira College, where I helped organize the study and performance of Romeo and Juliet for the World Shakespeare Schools Festival. I think we can all agree that the film Shakespeare in Love is terrible, but what do we think about the theme of love in Shakespeare? Well, I would argue that love in Shakespeare is portrayed as a fundamentally flawed and destructive force. For example, in the tragedies of Othello and Romeo and Juliet, the character's passion, though initially beautiful, is to be the driving force behind their destruction. I agree with your point about the tragedies, but overall I think I disagree. I mean, if you look at the comedies, uh, look at A Midsummer Night's Dream as you like it, the conclusion um, of the play often results in marriage, um, and that's obviously putting love in a good light. Yes, I think you could argue that Shakespeare's portrayal of love is indeed dichotomous. In the tragedies, love is a dividing force, while well, in the comedies, it is indeed a uniting force. Yeah. Certainly you both make valid points, but what I would like to point out is that even in Shakespeare's tragedies, love can be a uniting force. For example, in The Merchant of Venice, Jessica's relationship with Lorenzo juxtaposes itself with the other tragic events of the play. Also in Othello, Othello and Desdemona's relationship is based on a strong foundation of love, and is only transformed into the tragic events at the end of the play by Iago's perversion, thus resulting in catharsis. Mm, I think that's I right. agree.